This was a regular North Ross fat bike. We put a beast of a hub motor on there, put a battery on there, and now it's electric. All right, guys, so we got this North Rock fat bike from Costco. Very nice, very popular brand. A lot of people use it for off-roading and uh, all-terrain riding. But a lot of people run into the issue of not enough power, especially if they're towing or hunting or something like that. So what we did, we put a thousand watt motor on there, hub motor, and we paired it with the 52 volt battery. And this controller is unlocked at 28 amps. So this thing is almost at 1500 watts, which is, you know, a lot of power, a lot of towing capacity. Uh, your regular traditional fat bikes, e-bikes, they're rated at 750 watts. And uh, the controller is limited at about 20 amps, so you're not, it's not enough power on there. So I'm gonna show you the build footage right after this right now. And at the end, I'm gonna show you what this thing can pull. And hint, hint, they pulled a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna show you that. Okay, so I have the tire and the tube installed on the motorized wheel now. So now it's time to put it into the dropout. So you just wanna line it with the disc brake and the free wheel in the back. And since we measured it, it should just gotta be careful of the wires not getting crushed in there. So this brake is in, this side is in, and now I'm gonna show you the, I'm gonna get the correct uh, camera angle and show you where the spacers go over here so you can space out your wheel properly and make sure that the, nothing is hitting the chain stay or anything. So each kit comes with two nuts two straight washers right here and then two tabbed washers so basically the alignment on a ideal bike would be the straight washer would go inside the dropout so right here and then your tabbed washer is going to go next which is going to go on the outside of the and basically the tab is for holding your uh, axle in just in case if it ever wants to slip out or something it's a safety mechanism and then you basically tighten it with the with the nut so this tab washer is a little safety mechanism we put on both sides but that's not enough for a 1500 watt motor so we're actually going to put either one or two torque arms and i'm going to show you the installation on there too so it's like a safety mechanism which holds the axle to the uh, down tube or the uh, this tube right here so i'm gonna put the spacers in and the washers i mean the washers in and the nuts in and i'm gonna be right back so i got the spacing figured out on this one so in this on this side i didn't put any straight washer because on that side the free wheel is actually hitting the chain stay so i put two straight washers on this side and then none on here and it's it's uh rotating pretty freely so i got the tab washer on now you want to tighten this very, very well. So, so on the other side, I already tightened the bolt all the way. Make sure you tighten it all the way. Otherwise you can have problems. On this side, I didn't put the bolt on on purpose because we're going to put the torque arm first. So this is from Grin Technologies. They make awesome stuff. It's a company out of Canada. So it comes with these two parts right here and they're universal. So basically, and there's a bolt and nut that comes with it, so it's adjustable. So you put it out right here. And the goal is basically to secure your axle to your chainstay even further, just in case, like, you know, God forbid, if it has any slippage out of your uh, fork, this will hold it for until you can fix the issue. So basically you adjust it right there, you tighten this bolt, and then, the torque arm comes with a couple of hose clamps. You hose clamp it to the chain stay, and then you put the nut on and you tighten it all the way. Okay, I'm gonna start mounting the battery now. So basically, uh, it comes with a key that can unlock the cradle. So the cradle comes out, and then the cradle goes right here. So most bikes will have those two bolts that hold the water bottle. So you just basically adjust the height, put the two bolts in, slide the battery onto the crater and you're good to go. Uh, some bikes, you don't have that luxury. Uh, this one did have it, but I destroyed it. 
on my old battery. So I'm gonna install this triple bob right here. So basically the triple bob, the concept is you have a little mount right here that you host clamp to the bike. And then this, then the cradle goes on top of the triple bob and then, then it slides in. So basically it's a makeshift like water bottle holder, you can call it, but it's a nice product, triple bob. So I'm gonna hook it up with hose clamps. Over here, you gotta make sure that there's no like brake cable or anything lining over here because you wanna put the hose clamp underneath it, not like over it. So I'm gonna do that right now. I have the triple bob installed now. So I'm gonna use the three bolts that came with the triple bob and then put my battery cradle on there. I usually like it a little bit as low as possible without your battery, you know, you gotta, you gotta keep room for your battery to slide in, so. Okay, so that's nice and solid. The battery's not going anywhere. So now, basically all you gotta do is slap the battery on, make sure it clicks, and then turn the key and you have your battery installed. Before I start putting anything on the handlebar, I wanna show you what each Magic Pie kit comes with. So you have an option to get a, either a thumb throttle or a twist throttle. It comes with the kit. Um, I'm gonna go with a thumb throttle on this bike. Some people prefer the twist. It comes with a main wiring harness. So basically this one goes into the controller that's coming out of the wheel and then it splits into four. So one is for the throttle, two are for the brake levers, which also come with the kit. And then one is for the cruise control button. So basically you have an option to put it into cruise control. Horn is optional, it does not come with the kit, but if you wanna install a horn, it comes. you can plug it into the horn and program it that way. So this is what comes with the kit, and now I'm just gonna start putting it on the handlebar right now. So the first step you wanna do is take off your grips, loosen your old grips off. So these grips will go. So basically you just gotta unplug this wire. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then these brake levers actually have, so the mechanical brake will go in here. And then they also have the motor cut off also. So you want that because it's a powerful motor. So you want to have both. And um, I'm thinking, cause since the shifter is on this side, the thumb throttle on this side, and then I can put the cruise control, I guess, right next to it. And then put the brake levers on. So that's the strategy. So yeah, let me start with taking the grips off now. Let me quickly show you how to take the brake cable off. If you see right here, this thing lines up. So you want to pull it a little bit, makes it come out and you want to have it lined up over here. And then you pull it out basically. And then it just, you got to wiggle it out. There we go. So that is out, old one off. I'm going to put the brake lever right here. And then basically you just gotta put it back the way you took it uh, to put it back in. There we go. There we go. So that's how you switch it out. That's pretty easy. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side with the other brake uh, lever, put the throttle on. So I'm gonna loosen this brake lever right here, put the throttle on, put the two button switch right here. And then man, we're almost done with this build. All right guys, so I have everything installed now. So I got the brake levers right here, thumb throttle, two button switch. This is what it looks like, the finished product. So I'm just gonna clean up all the wires now, hook up my battery, and then we're gonna take this bad boy out for a ride. All right guys, this build is done. Looks super clean. I zip tied everything. And then this battery is a 52 volt battery. So the controller is drawing 28 amps from here. So 52 times 28, almost 1500 watts. It's rated at 1000 watts, but this is not your traditional 750 watt motor or 500 watt motor. Um, this one is only used for off-road. So a lot of our customers use it for like hunting and uh, pulling big loads. And I'm gonna show you what this bike is capable in a second. But yeah, it's a all terrain fat bike. I like the way it came out. And I, I, zip, I even like, you know, hose clamped it really tight. 
Uh, most of the time, if you put the bottle bob uh, bolts in there, it's not strong enough for a fat bike because I'm going to be like pushing this to the limits. And most, most of our customers who use it on a fat bike, they push it to the limits. So I'm going to show you what the towing capacity of this bad boy is. All right, first thing I'm going to show you is the torque on this bike. So I have a program to maximum 28 amps on the controller, uh, maximum 380 RPM. And, uh, and then the gearing ratio on the chain ring doesn't matter because it's a hub motor. So I'm going to show you the torque on this thing. Go. So as promised, I'm going to show you the towing capacity on this bike. So right here, we got Riz, Mudge, and Cass on a tandem trike. So the trike is probably what? 60 pounds with a 20 pound battery. Riz, you're 150. Mudge, you're 500. No, you're, <laughs> you're 200 now. Yeah, you lost that weight. Cass, what do you weigh? How much you weigh? 180. Okay, the audience, you can do the math on this, but it's, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot, yeah. All let's right. see, let's see. You guys it. ready? Yep, we're ready. Let's go. All right, let's go, let's go. Give me the countdown, Momo. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can tow it. Oh man, with a breeze. That's too easy. Did you, did you hear, did you feel a jolt? Was it easy? Well, initially there was a jolt, yeah, because I'm pulling what, like 600 pounds? <laughs> but no, it was, it, if, Oh, so to our hunting customers and like the people who use this for like off-roading and stuff, it can, it can tow a lot. It can tow a lot. All right, so we pulled the tandem. Now it's time to pull Goldie. Why Goldie? Because Goldie motor, Goldie. So this is, this is the go-kart we converted to electric. So this go-kart's heavier than the tandem, definitely. It has more resistance, more weight, but we should be able to pull it. I think we should be able to pull this motor. Actually, what the hell, Cass, get in the get, get in get in on there too, man. You get in there too. <laughs> you sir. get in there too. We got this. Let's we got test this. out the capacity. You ready? Easy peasy. Look at that. Three ginormous humans on a four by four cart. No problem. This was too easy. I think we have to go a little bigger, a little heavier. Truck? Truck? Car? Yeah. All right, so now we're going to try to tow a car. That's just in case if you're hunting an elephant and you kill the elephant, you want to pull a 3,000, 4,000 pound thing. Or if your car stops, your battery dies and you have to tow it. I'm not advising you guys to do this, but it's, it's highly possible. All right, let's go. Three. Two, one, go. Oh, look at that, it's moving. Tires are rolling, tires are rolling. <laughs> Let's go, Let's go. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try that one more time that I, I put the gearing ratio on the, on the pedal too. So I'm gonna use pedal and throttle. I think, I, I think we can do better. All right. He's confident. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, like butter. Oh, it's, it's going. going. It's going. Well, there you have it. It's definitely possible with the rear hub motor, 1,000 watts.